your your reach and impact is quite impressive. And to your point, you don't have to do this. You get to do this. And I, I wanted to jump ahead a little bit because if I'm a financial advisor, what you're empowering me to do is to supplement my technical ability and provoke and conver a conversation for the litany of unmet needs that exist in a very affluent self-made client. Your point about the will and the stuff, I actually believe that the power of a will is to remove so much burden on the next generation because as we know in this space, there are so many examples of getting it right, but so many more warnings of how after the emotional devastation of somebody passing, the minefield that they had to navigate, how disruptive that is on their lives, trying to figure it all out. And uh, now you've got to engage all of these professionals. You don't know who to trust. Ultimately, at the end of the day, I want the financial professional to position this as being an absolutely essential part of their process. Now, I want to ask you this question. Why do entrepreneurs put this off? Well, I think there's a general um, there's a general idea that if we spend time as an entrepreneur, most entrepreneurs are owner operators, okay, mm -hmm. and they they get up in the morning and they spend their they spend ninety nine percent of their time on their operations, launching yeah. new products, acquiring new clients, uh, improving your margins, top line sales. Hiring, firing, that's what they're over. They're over there. And the reality is they, they view estate planning and business succession planning as this time sink. It's like an hour of their life that they'll never get back. It's an hour that's going to drain from their opportunity to make money over here. And I keep telling these business owners, are you kidding me? It's over here where the dough is made. It's, it's not your salary. It's, it's that 10, 15, 20 multiple of your free cash flow that is going that you're going to realize when you build a business that isn't so dependent on you, that has proper policies and procedures, that's scalable, and that isn't dependent on you. You built that's where you're building value and you can monetize that. If you're just running a business as an operator, you're not going to have a succession plan. You're, you're going to have a pretty poorly timed exit. Uh, and that exit usually looks like this. It usually looks like the business owner who dies at their desk. Not really a metaphor. Literally. I'm telling you, you got about a 50% chance if you don't leave the building. You're going to die at your desk. And then your family is going to, um, well, Duncan, they are going to remember you. If you have no succession plan, your family will remember you, just not fondly. <laughs>